Hi, welcome to Nona's Here. I'm Nona, and today is one of my favorite days. It's Fun Day Friday with Tiff, with Tiff from Broke Girl Aesthetic and her co-host, Ken Sarah D.I. Wyatt. I'll be sure and link both of their channels down below and the playlist where you can see where everyone is joining in for Fun Time Friday. I love when she does this because I can do anything I want to do. So, today I have a special craft to share with you. It's easy. Anyone can do it. So, let me get over to my craft table and show you what I'm working on. And I want to thank Tiffany for offering up this kind of challenge that anyone can do, including Nona. Thanks, Tiffany. So let's get busy crafting. Thanks so much. See you over at my craft table. So this is a round sign that I got at Dollar Tree and I'm going to use both sides. I'm going to paint both sides with my Waverly chalk paint in ink and cover both sides with my Mod Podge in uh, Luster Gloss. Now, I got a Cricut, uh, an Air Explorer 2 for Christmas, so I'm going to use it for this project. But of course, if you don't have a Cricut, you can use stencils or stickers or anything like that. You can freehand things, but this is, I wanted to use my Cricut as my new toy and you'll see that I make several mistakes, but that's okay, don't look too closely. Okay, so I've covered the uh, one side, and that's one of the, uh, the first sign that I'm gonna use on the one side. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my maize chalk uh, paint, and I'm just gonna dry brush around the edges and around the circle to kind of give it a little bit of uh, texture using that uh, brush, that brusly brush. So that's what I'm doing there, just kind of giving it a little bit of texture around the edges. So once I get that done, then I have cut out a scroll to go around the outside of the uh, circle. Oh, now I'm putting the Mod Podge on. Now the reason why I'm putting Mod Podge on is so that my Cricut vinyl will attach and hold to the uh, plaque, to the paint. Uh, you won't have to do that if you're using stickers or a stencil. Well, maybe if you're using a stencil you'll want to do that to give this uh, uh, stencil or stickers to hold something, hold on, uh, something to grip to. Okay, so I've cut out my vinyl and now I'm doing what's called weeding, which is really boring to you that if you don't have a Cricut, but you're, I'm just trying to remove it from the uh, carrier paper. And there I have it. So now I'm ready to put it down on my circle. And I have the Mod Podge down and it's all nice and dry. I have to make sure the Mod Podge is real dry because one time I didn't and it made a real mess. So now I'm just going to put the scroll around the uh, outside of the circle and lay it down and then I'm going to do what's called burnishing. I'm just going to take my scraper and scrape it down real hard and make sure that it all sticks to the uh, sign. That's what I'm doing there. And then I'll lift that plastic piece up and hopefully the uh, leaves around the circle will stick. Then I'll put that sign that I made in the middle of the circle, which I didn't tape. I did tape, but I lost the tape of me doing. But I just do the same thing. I take the sign and put it in the middle and burnish it down and then lift the plastic part up and that's all it is to it. And of course you could use a stencil, you could hand write something, um, you could do anything you want to. And I'm sure if you get on Etsy, uh, which is where I got this saying, I purchased it, you could um, find stencils and things. Okay, so there is my scroll all the way around and now I'm ready to put that 
yellow sign on, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, now this is the flip side. I painted it black, put the Mod Podge on, did a white leaf scroll, and on this one I put in the middle, bless this home and all who enter. And then I hot glued some pretty purple and white flowers. Now that Mod Podge is spray, and if you can get your fingers on it, it is fantastic. Okay, so I sprayed everything with the Mod Spray Mod Podge to make sure it would stick and stay on. So this is the end product. This is the one side that says, Bless this home and all who enter. And this is the other side that says, Relax and accept the crazy. Remember, you don't have to have a fancy cutting tool to do this fun and easy craft. You can use stencils or stickers that you can get at Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, online, or Etsy, or even draw freehanded. Use your imagination and just have fun with it. It's an easy, fun craft to do, and it's budget-friendly. So, go for it. Once again, I want to thank Tiff from Broke Girl Aesthetics and Sarah from Can Sarah DIY It. Check out their channels below, and don't forget to check out the playlist of everyone else who's joining in Fun Time Friday. Hope to see you at Nona's here again soon. Bye!